With a growing global population that's projected to be 9 billion people by 2050, we need to be able to find more sustainable sources of food. But we can't just keep strip mining the oceans for the seafood that we crave. Aquaculture, particularly offshore aquaculture, where we can grow out towards the blue horizon, offers the potential to be able to feed this growing global population. Already, about 50% of the seafood that we eat is farmed. But what are we going to feed the fish? So it's critically important when we're looking for alternative feedstuffs for the diets for kampachi and other marine fish, that we find something that is precisely the right amino acid balance and fatty acid balance for the fish, and it provides the correct nutrition for the consumers. For years, researchers all over the world have been working to reduce the amount of fish meal and fish oil in the diets for marine fish. What we've been doing over the last few months is a controlled replicated feed trial where we have the standard commercial diet and then we have an experimental diet where we've been able to completely eliminate the fish meal and the fish oil from that diet and replace it with canola oil and flax oil but then also critically a new microalgae that provides the correct fatty acid balance and then upcycled repurposed poultry trimmings instead of the fish meal that would normally go into an aquaculture diet. So with the results of this research, we feel like now we're getting our hands around the holy grail of removing the reliance on the oceans to be able to produce the fish that we need. And so now we're going to be able to scale aquaculture like offshore aquaculture in these pens here to meet the global demand. Not only that, but we're going to make this formula for this diet available through the F3 network so that other nutritionists throughout the world will be able to use this diet and hopefully over time improve further upon it. So there's been a lot of criticism of aquaculture over the years and some of it has been justified. The industry has been reliant on fish meal and fish oil, but this work that we've been doing and research all over the world has been making dramatic advances in fish nutrition and fish health and sustainability and siting and engineering. And so we're really hopeful that this research and other research around is going to be able to allow us to scale up this industry in the way that we have to. And the consumers will recognize that this is a way to get really healthful nutrition in an environmentally friendly manner. That's the real key from this research.